Hi, uh, this is Joe from the CE Link. Uh, I would like to introduce you uh, the new version of the HDMI cable. Continue? Okay. Yeah. So what is uh, this one is our uh, HDMI normal cable. It's from HDMI Type A to Type A. The length is uh, one meter, but we can make the cable as long as the uh, five meters. And this is a uh, 2.1A. Yes, correctly. It's a uh, 2.1. And the bandwidth can as high as uh, 48 gigabit How did per second. How you test this? Uh, we use the analog analyzer to, uh, to check the high frequency trans trans uh, transmission. Yeah. And if this is not long enough for some people, then you have a solution that is much longer? Yeah, uh, if you want... Uh, the distance uh, transmission. We will like to suggest you uh, this uh, AOC solution. Not active uh, optical cable. cable. Yes. So the cable actually is uh, some kind of a hybrid technology. Uh, we combine the copper with the fiber. Fiber uh, data transmission and uh, the copper wire can transmission the power. Uh, for HDMI uh, single row. Wow. So you, you can do both so automatically. And yeah. automatically uh, there's a chip in here that... Yeah, correctly. Correct. You can see uh, the, the size is much bigger. Uh, so we need to put the AOC engine. That means the optical to the electronic uh, coding and decoding IC inside. So uh, we need to check the is a source side or the sink uh, the display side, also the sink side. Nice. Do you sell many HDMI cable? We are a major supply uh, in the after service market, and uh, we ha we. Uh, sell our HDMI cable to Amazon Basic, uh, Walmart, and Best Buy, etc. Because uh, when people need to buy an HDMI cable, they should consider getting good quality, right? Sure. Yeah, that depends on quality. Then you can get the real full high density uh, single. Sometimes before I make the mistake, I buy a cheap one, and then it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> and I thought HDMI should be simple, but it's not so simple. Yeah, sure. Uh, if it not work, that is really uh, suppose is uh, the uh, uh, manufacturing or we call the is a uh, production defect. Usually, every HDMI can trans transfer data, but uh, if you really want high quality uh, vision and uh, the audio, you need uh, use the good. Uh, quality HDMI cable. Nice. And here at CE Link, you do many different products, right? What do you also show here? Uh, CE Link is not only a, a cable provider, also, we actually uh, uh, 3C means the computer, uh, consumer electronic, and the communication accessory uh, product provider. Yeah, such as you can see, uh, we have a uh, the PCIe PCIe 5.0 and also the uh, the power supply for so the apply to the new standard of the Intel ATX 3.0 and there's many connectors here. Yeah, what do you need all those connectors for? There's different uh, sources of power are, and stuff. There are different kind of the power. Uh, peripherals need power supply. So different uh, different uh, cable plus the output the circuit is uh, provided the power. 
directed to different uh, peripheral. For example, uh, this is to the motherboard, and this is to maybe uh, the the CPU. This is ah uh, sorry. This is for CPU, and this is maybe for the sum peripheral. It's important to have a good fan because if you don't have a good fan, maybe everything burns and nothing uh, works. Yes, it will it will become a, a heating cup uh, problem, and and uh, if your fan is not don't have a good quality, it's very possible to noise. Nice. Yeah. And problem. All yeah, problem. yeah, yeah. What is this hub? USB PD charger. Uh, power delivery, high power for fast charge and stuff like that. Yeah. And fast USB cable, USB Gen 4, Gen 3, mm -hmm. up to 240 watts on Type C. Yes. Uh, so actually, uh, PD is the USB uh, community standard. Uh, like the QC quick charger, uh, so it's a new protocol, and uh, now it's uh, become more and more popular uh, in the quick charger uh, application. So and it's the, important to have. It's very difficult to find a cable like this, 240 watt, and also can support AK 60 hertz. Mm -hmm. Everything on one Type C. Uh, yeah, it, and it's 40 uh, giga giga bit per second yes all this in one cable it's a cool cable yeah uh, so this cable is really have a, has a very a lot of technology inside but uh, anyway uh, actually uh, this kind of 40 gigabit second is uh, some kind of similar to the Thunderbolt technology Thunderbolt yeah, yeah. and and now uh, they call it USB 40 gigabit that's the US, USB 4 is compatible. Actually, use the uh, Thunderbolt technology. Intel released the Thunderbolt 3.0 technology to the to the USB the committee, and then USB committee issued that as the USB 4.0 uh, yeah. st standard. But now they even call the the 40. So everything here is 40. I see also here. Uh, this is 40 gigabit per second hub docking station. Uh, so you, you use this cable, and boom, you get all this in 40 gigabit per second. Yes, correctly. Uh, actually, you can see a lot of single. They all need a bandwidth. But uh, if we use the USB 4.0 technology, uh, the bandwidth as high as the 40 gigabit can support. Uh, so many device uh, data transmission. Maybe 4K, 4K plus USB, 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 and everything at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. With just one cable. Nice. Yeah. And there's another fast USB cable right here, a shorter one. How 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 is it possible to make a USB cable can do all this? What is a? Uh, is just copper? Yes. Or something o else. Only, only copper, but. Uh, uh, it's not just the simple couple. Uh, we also use, if we, we want to use the couple wire, uh, there are two second way to, to, to make that, 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 that wire more powerful. One is a twister. The other is maybe we use the coaxial, coaxial cable technology. Yeah. Coaxial. Coaxial. Yeah. So it's the way you turn it. Ye yes. Yes. Uh, since the coaxial cable have a good uh, ENI uh, data. Yeah. All right. I also have some cheap USB cable. Uh, they said 100. After a few weeks, they don't work anymore. You know, like <laughs> sometimes <laughs> that's, that, is not that, is, that is not supposed to happen. If you are a real USB. Uh, lab uh, checker and uh, you get a certification so I will suggest uh, uh, we buy the product with a uh, uh, test ID USB number logo. yeah, yeah. Uh, since a uh, USB logo 
also a lot of uh, maker they actually don't have a certification but they still put the logo on their products so better you still check uh, their test ID uh, from the USB uh, website nice the same for HDMI HDMI you can also do this now yeah yeah you, you also can check the uh, uh, certification number uh, from the committees uh, the website nice and there's another little multi charger here with uh, also a lot of power all right and uh, if you walk around here do you have uh, you do portable power station uh, do you do many for a long time, or is a new product for you? This new product? Uh, actually, uh, we are making uh, making this kind of product as an OEM uh, for more than two and three years. Now uh, we begin to develop our own uh, model, and uh, hope uh, more customers can can trust us and uh, have a more uh, OEM uh, business. So we are coming to from OEM from the OEM. So by doing your own motherboard, is more reliable, or you have better control yeah, over and the uh, whole system? And uh, we can integrate uh, the key components like uh, the battery cell. And it's good to combine with the solar and this market is growing no? yeah uh, going very much because of uh, I think uh, you because uh, you, you know the war so make the storage uh, market uh, now become more and more popular because of the war yeah the Ukraine Ukraine, Ukraine. Many yeah. Yeah. yeah so because the oil uh, become too high price become too high You have Ethernet. Yeah, is you say, say Ethernet, Ethernet can go to what? Ethernet. 10, gig, 10 gigabit? Te, uh, thousand can, thousand gigabit, yeah. More than thousand. Ten. Ten, ten giga. Ten yeah. giga. It's a uh, catalog seven. Right. And a catalog eight. All right. Uh, where is your factory for all this? Uh, we are manufacturing our products. Uh, in both uh, China and the Vietnam. Uh, what's the difference between China factory and Vietnam factory? Uh, uh, it's, uh, basically, we follow up the customer need. Uh, since uh, you know the world trade, the between, there is a uh, trade war between the Some country in the America country. or yeah. in China, so they want in order to help a customer to hedge the customs and, here you have a and also the uh, stable supply so we better to our Menam factory from five years ago this this one says 8k yes so you have the chipset to support the 8k yeah uh, do you talk about what chipset or secret uh, uh, majorly Taiwan based uh, chip maker like Realtek. Realtek. Yeah, like Realtek. They are the, the, yes, they are the industrial leading company. And here is another big hub, big docking station. All right. All right, so uh, Computex is back. It's good to have Computex back, right? Yeah, sure. You yeah. get to meet the customers. Oh, yeah, a lot of customers visit our booth, booth and uh, also I supposedly uh, we can develop a new uh, customers. Is everything you sell under your brand? No, uh, we actually uh, five five brand uh, maker. So uh, we only provide OEM or ODN uh, service to our customers. And the uh, customer can choose our product and then put their logos on our product. And here, um, I even see a uh, robot cleaning with the air purifier, right? Yeah. And with the water and everything? Oh, 
Yes, water with water. You inside. fill it up with water? Yeah. Well, oh, this is water. And then it will just clean your home forever. Yeah. You never you need to clean You can sweep in and clean, and the day will wash himself. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here at Computex 2023, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference and um, there's a smooth 8k future with 48 gigabit per second support and there's the whole um, infrastructure for for certifying for testing for making sure there's no interference with the with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have so thanks a lot for watching check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com